Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, session here on Tear the Week to Row. Um, just wanted to pop back in, guys, and uh, give this reading. Was uh, just got finished with the spiritual bath and getting myself all settled and everything. Sitting here, just communing in the spirit, and I'm starting getting some downloads. And needed to go back and pull my deck. And uh, yeah, just uh, let me light an instant before we jump into these cards i'm feeling still a very dark energy i'm feeling somebody who's stuck somebody who um still feeling like uh somebody who's made a very uh bad decision this person is feeling like um vengeful um they are feeling revengeful they are feeling um uh enraged they are feeling uh What's another uh just downright angry spirit says rage yes uh violent spirit says uh just saying violent over and over again yes just in a cycle they are uh for somebody winter is coming you're gonna face a very uh a very hard situation a very dark scenario a cold very cold scenario is coming this person is feeling something very cold very deceitful very sneaky the paid to harm you card actually came out so please um people be careful i don't know um what this is but i know that you are protected by the most high god so i'm delivering these messages just for your awareness so that you can be aware and pray and just ask for protection and to be shielded on all sides to place a hedge around you and, and your family to ensure that um, nothing can come your way that it is blocked out um, I'm definitely feeling that this um, person is very very maybe this person is a thief they've stolen something they they've uh, they've stolen something and I believe that they are, are, are known to be a thief and they are unable to figure out how they're going to get out of this situation and the inability to get out the inability to to move forward we have the uh, delay and, and stuck uh, uh, emotional uh, something about a foolish act so it definitely feels like that this person did something foolish maybe they stole something right and and, and now they they're delayed and they're stuck they can't get out whatever it is is definitely was the self-sabotage they were being sneaky and deceptive whoever this person is last name initials is m through q this person is dangerous they are not loyal you can't trust them they are not loyal and they definitely are not stable spirit is saying they are not stable they have no understanding they refuse to lend into the spirit to to see from anybody else's perspective from their own they are hell-bent on their position <sighs> using spirit they are hell-bent on their position that they are right. They refuse to see any other perspective or point of view that they may be wrong. They they, they are dug into, this person feels like they, they, they cannot be wrong. That everybody else is wrong. That they need to teach lessons. They need to punish. They, they need to show people uh, uh, how it's supposed to be done. That they are the way. That they have the way. And, and they have the right to, to, to guide people and tell them the way. And also to... To issue judgment on those that they feel like have not uh, uh not not complied with them this person is dangerous and they are not stable and, and and they are sneaky and deceptive and and they may have paid somebody to harm you they are self-sabotaging they are delayed and stuck and depressive and angry and and volatile and violent this person is is prone to foolish acts and they definitely are not afraid of theft whoever this person is and whatever they did they are trying to cover up cover up whatever it is um that's going on that they're being found out and this is happening now it's happening now so those are my personal cards i'm going to 
get some light activation to find out what it is that we can do. We, we know that the Holy Spirit is with us. We know that the Spirit of Protection is with us. This, the Spirit of Protection, you are here surrounding whom, whatever energy may be facing this situation. So please come in and to your we field and to this particular lot, Holy Spirit, and bring forth the Spirit of Protection. Activate the Spirit of Protection in this space and in this realm so that this entity may not be harmed by whatever deceit that has come upon them. No weapon form shall prosper. No weapon form shall prosper. Ooh, I'm going to burn my cards up. Thank you, Spirit. Um, let's clear this energy. Clear any residual energy from these cards. Bring in current fresh energy for this reading. Give us the information we need to activate our light in terms of protection for us from this danger. Activate our light from the, to bring forth protection for this danger. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. What message would you have, Holy Spirit, for your life? What message would you have? What is the message? What is the message? What is the message? Is this the message? Is this the deck? Is this the deck, Holy Spirit? Bring forth. Okay. I feel your energy. Trust, don't trust, ally your life, trust the niggle, something is, trust, spirit is saying don't trust something, you may have the feeling to, you may get a message, yes, you may get a message from this person, what are they going to want spirit? Spirit says, this person may want to meet with you. They want to meet with you. They want to talk with you um, um, to discuss something. To discuss something. To, um, what is it? Reconcile. Make whole. Make things right. Um, but you're not going to accept it. You're not going to accept it. And when you choose not to accept it, this person's going to get angry. They're going to get very angry. So you need to make sure that everything is aligned. If you have to meet this person, if you are in a situation where you have to meet this person, don't do it alone. Make sure you're in a public place. Make sure people know where you are. Make sure you um, have your team to support you. Because whoever this person is, do not have good intentions. They may make you an offer to reconcile. And when you choose not to reconcile, this person is going to be angry. They are going to blow up. They are going to be volatile. And they are prone to uh, doing... They, they are not above causing harm to you because of their instability and uh, uh, lack of control and an inability to let go and to heal. Holy Spirit, is there anything else in here you'd like to tell us? Should I get the protection deck? Yes. Okay, so let's get that out. I'm going to have to cleanse this again, guys. I told you I was wrapping up and... Uh, I, I thought we were done for the night, but Spirit says, no, we're not done. We have more messages to serve up, so we are going to serve as the multi says we need to serve. Please cleanse these cards right here from any residual energy from our last session. Please cleanse them and bring forth your current fresh energy for this specific message, for this particular lot, for this specific energy. What is it that you would have them know? What would you have them know for their protection? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says self-respect. Something is going on with self-respect. Maybe this person, uh, is it the person or is it energy? The energy, energy that needs protected, protected energy. Then you need to have something about self-respect.
you need to make sure that you are having good boundaries yes good boundaries that whatever um this person when they want to meet with you when they ask you make sure that you put in place solid boundaries that you don't let them just set everything up to their convenience that that, that you uh yeah thank you spirit His spirit just says boundaries be be mindful protect yourself um respect your space make sure that they um, are respecting your space and don't yield to that. God is in charge. So yes, the Holy Spirit is here and whatever this is, you are highly protected. It will work out for your good in the end. Everything works towards the good for those who serve the Most High God. So we know that you are protected and God is in control. That should bring us in some peace, allowing us to place some of that fear. Replace the fear with faith, calling in a measure of faith. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is this? Energy healing is at work. Yes. Yes. You healing yourself, calling in that good, clean spirit. Uh, I'm sorry, that Holy Spirit, that good, clean, high bright light, that light of joy, that light of uh, um, love for self. Again, that self-respect behind there is driving that energy of healing, right? You are putting yourself first. You are making sure you're holding to your boundaries. You are not allowing anything to come in and disturb your peace. And anybody that wants to meet with you to discuss anything, make sure that you are putting your needs to the forefront and keeping yourself safe. Romance angels are helping you. Is this supposed to be out here? No. Spirit says no. Do I, yeah. have confidence know that you are protected know that the most high god has you don't be fearful yes you need to be aware but have confidence that the most high god has your family your home your entire situation in his hands god is in charge again god is in charge so have confidence in that knowing, continue to respect yourself and your boundaries requiring others, uh, you know, releasing or not engaging in people who don't respect you, right? Making sure that's the part of the alignment, right? And whoever this person is, you definitely cannot trust them. Don't trust anything that they set up. Do not. Spirit says no. But know that you are protected. You are in God's good hands and you will be fine right so thank you guys again for coming and stopping by for another session and reading here at tears and we tarot where we need to be aware of the tears in our field so that we know how to properly use our discernment how we need to make sure we are respecting ourselves and making sure we are holding boundaries that we are you know uh ensuring that we're not letting anything in that's going to harm us that is against what we have set up for our own energetic healing right self-respect and healing go hand in hand you can't truly do this work if you don't respect yourself and hold your boundaries and and being confident that god is in charge right being confident that god is, is in charge and since god is in charge he's telling you don't trust just this entity this person this energy but just stay in alignment and everything will be fine listen to your instincts god's got your back you are well in his good hands despite anything that may be happening despite the tears you are in good hands no weapon formed against you shall prosper we claim this according to the amazing power of our source the most high god and in that we bring the above to the below aligning ourselves with his perfect will so that the work can be done and as we claim it is done we say ashe thank you guys again if you like this content please like subscribe and share and uh help us grow see you soon ashe